12 News reporter Courtney Carter is live at the march right now with the details. Courtney? Well, the march is over now, but it started on Lockwood Avenue and ended here at the Nonviolence Institute as dozens marched through the streets, they say, to demand change for their children. It's called a Mother's March, organized by DARE, the Direct Action for Rights and Equality in downtown Providence, an organization that fights for social, political, and economic justice here in Rhode Island. We're dealing with a lot of the mothers that have lost to the communities due to gun violence and police brutality, lost their children to gun violence. Police escorted the group on the route, ending at the Nonviolence Institute in Providence, where a variety of speakers shared their stories of being impacted by gun violence and incarceration. Gun violence is not caused by kids having guns. This, these are situations that are happening that could be prevented. Cedric Russell, co organizer of the event, says it should be clear how gun violence and systemic problems are related. This week, he co released a public letter addressed to the Institute calling for the redistribution of $500,000 in funding to the community that the Institute was awarded by Brown University and the Rhode Island Foundation, as well as an end to their collaboration with police. That letter, signed by 17 different groups and over 80 community members. We're just taking it and then just going to reallocate the funds back into. To them, like this community is tore up. We need so much. We need Saying that funding should instead be invested in resources like housing, public schooling, mental health, and support for families rather than policing and incarceration. Saying that investment in the youth may help prevent the violence in the first place. Right, if poverty is solved and the resources in our community are addressed, there will be a significant drop in crime. But what, what, what links systematic racism to violence is there's no opportunities for people like us. So there's nothing else for them to reach for. There's no jobs. Like they, they're just trapped in a system. Now, members of the Institute did come out to the rally. I spoke to the executive director and the founder, but at this time, they both say they're not commenting, just listening. Live in Providence, I'm Courtney Carter, 12 News.